We're not there yet. Exactly. So maybe now she was really clean last time and we didn't get there, but now she's a little bit dirty and maybe we'll get there this time. You never know. That evens out. gonna get. She's so silky smooth. We love playing with that. She's wearing Tizzy's golden horseshoe winning rug. So maybe it'll rub off on her. <coughs> ah, new rubber smell. Trailer training paid off. Girl, behind you. Really there. The glamorous side to ponies. Dan literally asked me this morning how many tons of horse poop do I reckon I've picked up? I think it's a measurable. We made it. We are at the venue. Tick. Now all we have to do is see how Estrid is, see what her heart rate is like, and decide whether it's the 32k pleasure ride, which doesn't require a heart rate to start, or we do her 40k novice qualifier, which requires a heart rate under 64. So I'm hoping for the 40k. I'll take anything, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, we're here. Anything <laughs> is a plus for her. Anything is a plus. Let's go get Estri out. Oh! Fancy. Okay. Right. Let's get a dry rug on you. Good girl. Can you hold it, please? eating. It's a good start. We're going to try for the 40k novice. Say it one more time, we're feeling. <laughs> we we're gonna do. are going to do it well. We need to get past the first bet and uh, here at Langley Endurance Stables, we know not to take any stage of the competition for granted. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for the full betting. See what happens, eh? She's only seven, so there's no rush. I mean, whatever age, there's no rush. We will do this novice season at the pace we do this novice season. It might even end up being two novice seasons, who knows? But we'll get there in the end. Determination. 
perseveration. Perseveration? Perseverance? Perseveration. I've made a new word. That's what I'm going to call. I think this is like my sixth novice season now. <laughs> Grass is always good. Good water content. Good amount of fibre. Nice bit of energy. Dr. Green is what the old Welsh guys call it. <coughs> Who are you chatting to? There's a bit of mud on her back leg, but she's so angsty I can't get it off and it's really annoying me. <laughs> That's my only problem. You were so shocked. <laughs> Very pleased with herself as well. Heart rate 48, which I was actually quite surprised at. Trot up away. Dan said with a smirk that it was a little bit wibbly. It's actually quite soft the ground, so I give her that. It was a bit hard to run on. Trot up back was beautiful. And she stood once we'd finished the trot up. So a good first go. Now we need to boot up, tack up, and get going. Ah, yay! <laughs> I get to ride my pony, hopefully, if I get on. I've bought all my tack and helmet. Good girl, eh? I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Here she is. All tacked up. <coughs> keen bean. She is keen. <laughs> you, you look excited rather than nervous, though, Espid, actually. At least you're not shaking. We're on board. I had all my tack. Where are my number? She's keen. We're ready to go. Lovely wood. It's just a sign. Good girl. No, we're going straight on. You're so opinionated about direction. You're usually wrong. You need to learn to start reading arrows, eh? This is a good pace, Estrid. Solid 12k an hour. Keep that up, I'll be very pleased. Odd camera in the middle, Esther. It's 
throwing you. No paddles, I'm sure you'll be fine. Good girl, mind your little feet, Astrid. very dangerous these flowers aren't they you never know if they might jump out and eat you with their purple petals Tizzy doesn't like purple flowers either Astrid maybe it's a Halston grey pony thing okay great views we can see ponies in the distance good girl I'm so proud of you oh god Looking behind you, concentrate on what's in front of you. You'll do a tizzy. She used to look behind her and then she would lose her balance. They'll catch you up if they're fast enough. No matter what happens at the vetting, I can't believe how good this pony is. Look at that. Heart rate's coming down. I mean, it's high, but I did see 62 earlier. And it's dropping really quick. Look at that in front of your eyes. I mean, for a first time, Esther, that's pretty good. Not a fan of the water still, but it's quite warm actually. So we are going to get her rug and one of the buckets and take her over the other side. Yeah? Yeah. Go in at 20 minutes. Heart rate 64. So as long as she stays, when she spots a horse and she thinks like, oh, I want it to be my friend, it goes up to like 129. <laughs> 57. I give you the no crewing, crewing method. The wait, crewing method. <laughs> she did do a few sponges out on course though, didn't she? Yeah. I think we'll get there. Um, hopefully, she doesn't break my ribs when we do slosh training like Qantas did. <laughs> She just doesn't like water. It's not great for an endurance horse. Maybe when it's hot and she's sweaty one day, she'll be like, oh, thanks guys.
didn't actually tell me the heart rate, so I don't know whether we've passed or not. So we'll just have to wait, put her away. The suspense, I tell you. I don't care, to be honest, either way. That would be the icing on top if we have passed. She was shaking a lot, so I don't know whether it was under 64. Our trotter was across all trotter lanes, <laughs> but at least she was keen. I can't, I'm so happy. Like, she was so good out on course. She just went for it. She was loving life. She asked to go. Ears were pricked. Let's get out of the way of this crew fire squid. And as you can see, she's not tired at all. Let's try and get her a little bit cleaner. Give her some food, let her graze, and keep everything crossed that we've actually passed. I've never had a vet not tell me before. Like, just after the vetting. Like, they don't for FEI, they wait for the panel, like the steward, um, to tell you. But, never in a graded ride. It's quite, uh, it's quite suspenseful. I'm not sure if I like it or not. What are you doing? I got down a burger! Are you happy? Of course I am. This is very important to feed your crew. It's no cat, um, picnic though is it? <laughs> it's not it's unless no there's more cat pieces. Picnic. No, it's I just a burger in here. I mean look at it. That's it pretty massive. That does look massive. I'm gonna sit down for that. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? Estrid's passed her first novice ride. Look happier about it Estrid. Look happier about it. 13.5k an hour, which is a little bit speedier than I anticipated, but that is the speed she was comfortable at, so that's fine. One down, two novice qualifiers to go. <laughs> I know Estrid, her heart rate was 60 at the end, which is quite high, but it did drop into the 40s, and then I took her rug off to take the heart rate, and it shot up. She was like physically shaking. So I think I'm going to ask the vets in the future if I can just whip the shoulder up and the rest of the rug can stay up for the heart rate, because she just She's a really chilly pony. She's a big daisy. Like Tiz is in a half and half like fly water rug at the moment and Estrid's still in two turnouts. Like she just, she runs cold, don't you? Yes, <laughs> there could be worse things. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Good girl, hey? Well done, your first one. Not only did we get there and we got around, we also got back. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you, Libby. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> um, the ride was beautiful. So yes, there were long, two long road sections, but it was well worth it for the rest of it. Like there was grassy tracks. Estrid was astounding. That horse. Like, I love her even more if that's even possible. Thank you to all the ride organisers, the helpers, the farrier, like the stewards, everyone that made it happen so that I can enjoy my day doing what I love the most, endurancing. Um, wow, what a good day. Like, um, Esther, just, she travelled really well, actually. She's just having a munch, then we'll turn her back out. Um, and we're all done. I'm buzzing. Like, I know on paper, like it doesn't look like a good result because she only, only got a completion. But in reality, that really doesn't matter to me. It's about doing the distance, getting the speed and giving the, her the experience. Hello. So really, to me, she's a winner. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say really. I'm gonna give her a hot bath because she did not comply with a cold bath when we were there so we've just got to de-sweatify this pony and then she can go back out with Tizzy and tell her all about the adventure she's had and be like mm, what I did and Tizzy will be like yeah and what hey you're so good you did so good huh? should we clean you up should we clean you up look at you